Pepperidge Farm has died. It's time to go visit Pepperidge Farm because it's dying. Mom, are you excited? Okay, so apparently the Pepperidge Farm is closing because the whole shopping area is closing. I don't know, it's dying. Pepperidge Farm will never be the same even if they open it somewhere else. It's the one and only Pepperidge Farm. I don't know who's gonna buy that place, but if they do, they have to make it a worshiping ground or like museum or something, because obviously Pepperidge Farm should live. Or, um, goldfish crackers and whatever. You know, if, if somebody's gonna be buying the Pepperidge Farm place or getting rid of it, they, there's no other option. That's the only option. You ruined my shot truck. Here comes Pepperidge Farm. All right, here we are at Pepperidge Farm. It's, it's dying. Pepperidge Farm is dying, fam. I gotta enjoy this last visit. This is literally the most heartbreaking news. Here is the original. The original. It started it all. The goldfish. And all their many flavors. They're all on sale, you know. Buy two, get one free. That sounds like a great deal. You know. That's the saddest news of it all. There's all kinds of weird flavors. Let's see. I never liked the pizza one. Who even likes the pizza one? And all their many cookies. What the heck? I've never seen that one. Where did that one come from? Maybe with organic wheat and parmesan cheese. No. No, that is not a thing. And the bread. It all has to be miss missed for its bread. Oh, look at that bread. I'm definitely gonna miss the bread and whatever those cracker things are. You know, I'll miss everything about this place. The many, many breads. I wonder what'll happen if they don't sell all that bread. We'll just like mold there. They should donate it to a Pepperidge Farm Museum. You know, all this moldy bread, if, if it molds, but it probably won't because Pepperidge Farm never dies. See, that's agent, man. That's agent. It'll, it'll last forever. And my favorite bread, very thin. You know, I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to get some of this. You know, very thin. But yeah, I gotta stock up, man. Mm. All I know is zombies will probably invade because they're angry that their pepperidge farm is gone. So therefore, it is the end of the world. I'm not being a drama queen. It's the end of the world. Uh, yes, I really do need all of that. Probably need a second cart. I think so. It isn't enough. Alright, so that's the end of Pepperidge Farm. Forever, probably. You know, there'll never be one quite like that one. So, you know, that's sad. That's the end. I can't believe it's the end, man. You know, I had some good times perusing their aisles looking for my next snack. You know? <laughs> Those moments. I'm even wearing a Pepperidge and Farm sweatshirt. I'm such a big fan. Look. You know? Would any regular person have a Pepperidge Farm sweatshirt? No, I'm the biggest fan. No other fan would have this. So I'm obviously the number one fan. No one else has one. No one else eats Pepperidge Farm all the time like me. So, yeah. Pepperidge Farm is not allowed to close. What the heck, man? Pepperidge Farm. And you know, I don't want to say anything bad about Pepperidge Farm, but they had some moldy bread there. You know, clearly they're not checking every loaf of bread in every corner and tasting it first, you know? Or maybe it was some kind of magical moldy bread. But either way, I'm not saying anything bad about Pepperidge Farm. Pepperidge Farm is the best, you know? Rest in peace, Pepperidge Farm. You know, they should probably make a gravestone for it at the cemetery so I can visit it. You know, and I'll probably bring flowers to the area where Pepperidge Farm closed down forever now. So I'm gonna have to start saving up to buy flowers every day. A Pepperidge Farm. I could probably buy Pepperidge Farm products in any other store, but, you know, I choose not to. You know, it's the end of Pepperidge Farm, you know. Everyone go buy Pepperidge Farm sweatshirts, you know, protest this unjust matter.